Welcome back. So this remote right here controls my dust collection. And my dust collector is located behind this wall. And the reason I put it behind that wall was for noise control, as you can see here. Not very loud. Definitely don't need ear protection or anything like that. The one issue with that is I'm drawing quite a bit of air out of this room with the dust collection into the closet over here and the air isn't coming back in. Now that would normally maybe not be an issue, but over on the left side of the room over here I have a water heater and it's gas. So there is the possibility that I could draw some of that <clears throat> carbon monoxide out of, out of the flue that runs out of the house and back into this room, which would be dangerous. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to create a return air baffle. So I'm going to, in it, I'm not just going to cut a hole in this wall here so that the air that is pulled in there can come back into the room. I'm going to create a baffle so that it will run through and that will maybe help with the noise as well. Because I think if I just cut a hole and put a cover over it, like a vent cover, I'm thinking I'm going to get a lot of that noise coming back into the room. So I'm going to create a small little baffle, put that vent over it and we'll see how it does. So I just wanted to do a quick test run to see the difference in noise between having this completely covered off and then also with the hole there. So it sounded like before. Wow, you can really feel, you can really feel that air rushing back into the room. So I'm glad we're working on this here. I think this will really help with the dynamics of the air. Um, but that noise level, it's slightly different. There's a little more of that hissing sound that you can hear. Um, originally, I was going to build the baffle out of plywood, but I'm thinking maybe I can just rig up something with some of this, uh, this one inch thick insulation board. So let's get some insulation board in there and see if that's going to make a big difference in the sound. So I've cut a couple of pieces of this one inch foam board. This one right here is just going to sit inside that stud bay. And I'm going to push it up to here to push up some of that uh, fiberglass insulation. Now that I've got that piece in place, I'm going to take this piece and this is just going to sit upright inside that stud bay so that the air that's coming will come here, it will come up and around to where the top of this is, and then back out and down. And hopefully this right here will be a damper for some of that sound. So let's give it a try and see if this works. If it does, then I'll probably uh, cut out some nicer pieces and then get this secured in here and then put a cover over it. So let's see. You can definitely still feel that air rushing through. So I'm just going to take this out to see if the, the sound changes at all. So it does seem like that hissing sound is a lot louder without the baffle. So I think what I will do is, is I'll probably uh, put some adhesive in there, cut these out a little better, and make sure that this is all in there, and then put some covers over this and test it out. And, and it did feel like even with the baffle, the amount of air coming through was about the same, so I don't think it's really uh, interfering with the airflow. So it does just dampen that sound a little more. So I'm going to get a, uh, some final, final touches on this, and then we'll test it out. So I used some of this insulation foam sealant to secure the piece that's up here inside the wall. And that way none of the air blows into the walls or I have any issues with that. So this whole compartment is kind of sealed off with this insulation foam. And then this piece here, originally I was just gonna go vertical, but I think what I'm gonna do is on the inside of the stud bay, I'll do it like this. So the air will kind of come up and around and out. And I'm still doing a little bit of sound testing here just to see, I wanted to see if once I had that foam in there, if that would be enough without this, but it seems like this baffle piece really is making a big difference. So I don't know if this is gonna pick up on the sound from the video, but I will do a little more testing and see if we can see there. So 
it's kind of at the angle that I wanted at there. And what I'll do is, is I'll turn it on and you'll kind of hear the sound and then I'll move it down and you, and you can kind of hear the hissing sound uh, and there's, it's, it's a bit louder without the baffle, um, without the air going around the baffle. So let's see here. So it's pretty quiet there. You can see there, it's a little louder than just coming directly through. So they're a little quieter. a lot more direct without this, a lot more. The feel, the difference is that it's not as strong, it's just broader. And when you have this in, you can feel it's like a stronger stream, but more. More focused in its direction, which makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna foam that in there and then put some covers over it and we should be good to go. So the spray foam is dried on the inside of the wall there. And then I put a vent cover over it here and then also on the inside of the closet there. So if we turn this on, we can see how it's working. So we're getting just about the same amount of sound as we were before, but we are getting some air flowing through there. So you can feel the air coming through, so that way anything I'm taking out of the room and pushing back in, I don't need to worry so much about the, uh, the gases from the water heater. So I think this worked out just about the way I wanted it to. If anybody has any noisy equipment they keep in another room and they're worried about uh, return air from a dust collection system, this is one thing to check out, both, both for the return air and also for noise control. So leave some comments in the comments section. Thanks.